right, welcome back and uh, tonight we come to the end of our little journey through the six categories with our last category and this is where we're going to bring everything together. We want to sort of bring together the energy body and you know, <coughs> all the beings um, and all the practices so far to really try to you know, encourage metta as a kind of energetic flow uh, through this thing we label the self, self to the manifestations that we project out into the universe of all sentient beings. So, you know, potentially by now if you've been doing metta practice for some time as we've been doing today, at times there'll be a sense of metta being more than just a thought. We can feel the emotions in the body and sometimes those emotions can almost feel like energy movements in the body. And even though this is just a way of looking, it can be very, very helpful in progressing the meditations. So, if at any time you get a sense of metta as a kind of energy, we should encourage this. Sort of spend some time with that feeling of energy and with metta sort of as energy. And in this way, you know, we can almost consider that our energy body is meta energy. So we can see it as meta energy or loving kindness energy radiating out from us. Again, it's a way of looking. Um, you don't have to reify any of this stuff. It's just a way to view what's going on. But the interesting thing is when you visualize it and experience it this way and try to expand our conception of knowledge and how we know things because we we know one more thing we know we know is we know very little you know there's so much more we don't know so we don't know whether in time some of this stuff will become facts and science um, even then it doesn't really matter at the end of the day it's a way of looking and you will start to perceive that you will start to almost feel as if yes i can send energy out to the beings around me and even I might sense that I can feel when you're doing a meta meditation in this hall I can feel a sense that almost there's a sense that there's a beautiful energy in this room that I can tap into. So you want to encourage this um, and it can be very very helpful and you can visualize you can imagine radiating meta so, you know, meta coming from, from your heart, uh, energy coming from the cells of your body. Um, a lot of people can feel energy in their palms. Um, and so, you know, the Reiki people do, do the Reiki and have healing energy. But irrespective, we often sense energy in our hands and in our palms. So you can imagine, you know, radiating meta from your palms and you can feel the energy. I'm sure some of you have done this thing where you imagine a, a ball of energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's really, it's quite powerful. So if we visualize that energy as now kindness and meta and imagine that we can project that energy out, it can be helpful in facilitating that sense of energy flow through the body. Likewise through our feet. Our feet are another one. So we can imagine radiating energy out through our feet. And when we walk, we can imagine, you know, radiating it out, radiating it out to Mother Earth and connecting with Mother Earth each step that we take as we do our walking meditation, you know, tomorrow morning. So, uh, yeah. And so we're, we're practicing feeling meta now as energy and suffusing all beings, 
humans, animals, plants, even, you know, just the inanimate earth, the earth itself, the rocks, the beautiful rocks, you know, radiating that eventually out to everything. Because if everything has some sort of a divine spirit in it, and we want to send love to everything. Only if it's within your resources, these are just ideas that you can work with, and if they're helpful, uh, obviously we can go further with them. So the final category, the sixth category, is a sense of radiating, you know, meta out as vastly as possible to all beings. And in this, again, we need to meditate possibly firstly on all beings being equal in, sen in the sense that they all want to avoid suffering and they're all doing the best they can to achieve their own happiness in they, the ways that they know possible, even though some of them can be deluded at times. So we want to make it truly boundless, we want to make it universal, but without losing the power and, um, you know, we can easily kind of just glibly say, you know, what, what do we want? You know, we want to love all beings, we want peace in the world, and just sort of trot those lines out. I remember there was a funny uh, cartoon, I don't know if it's real or not, but, you know, these models, uh, sort of Miss, Miss America or whatever, and it's like, you know, they all give the speech. What I really want is world peace. You know, what I'm striving for is world peace, as if that's the sort of line that these uh, talent shows call for, so you've got to say that. So, well, that's fine, but I'm acting in that way and I'm really hoping for those sorts of things. So, if it's not sort of tangible, it might be that we need to go back to a particular person to try to fill that visual sense. Uh, I keep repeating myself, but it is really the essence of the practice. So, we may need to swap between one being and all beings. Um, and then when we get to the all beings, we can start imagining all beings. So I'll give you a few options. Uh, one, one way is to sort of start by thinking of sort of categories, you know? So uh, all people in Australia, or all females in the world, or uh, you know, all kids, all men, you know, you, you did that already. So that can help us, that can sometimes be of assistance by sort of doing one category at a time of all beings. Um, the Buddha said, you know, uh, choose the, the, the ten directions. So there's ten directions, there's, you know, sort of north, east, south, west, and then north, east, south, east, west, and then up and down, it's sort of ten directions. So all beings north north of us, you know. So you, you could do it that way as well. Um, you know. And you can have categories, you know, like all um, mammals, all reptiles, all insects, all birds, if you wanted to, to go down that way. Um, but the one that I think is recommended, um, which, which I like, um, is to do it in conjunction with the idea of this energy body and imagine that your energy body or there's a, a globe or a, of this light, which is meta, which we've been talking about, and then it expands up to include all beings. So we can expand it up to include just us in this room, um, the bats above us, and birds outside, and then gradually expand it further and further until it uh, includes all beings, um, and envelop everyone in this, in, in this, and everything in this love and kindness um, energy. And uh, then, really, in sort of day to day. We've got to try to remind ourselves that whomever we come across, we wish them loving kindness. So whoever we interact with, or even if we don't interact with them, even if we're just walking along the street, 
try to have a sense of all of these beings that are all struggling, same as us. They all really want happiness, same as us. Can I, you know, hug, hug them in a metaphorical, energetic hug? Um, and that will help cultivate this energy in your heart. And also, by doing this often enough, deeply enough, you will have that energetic quality about you. And you will, first of all, start to attract people. People will be attracted. I will comment about how they feel calmer in your presence or feel loved. But also, as um, Joshua was telling us, you know, about your experience with the musical guy from Cuba, it actually will start changing your perception. You'll start seeing a different world. And that's really amazing. And you go, am I living in the same universe or did I just shift universes? Yeah? So it can be incredibly powerful. But it requires consistency. It requires effort. So we're trying to deepen the feeling, but over a period of, you know, a long time. So we need to have periods where we meditate and we try to deeply get a sense. And then we need to try to carry that with us and remember it as many times during the day as possible. Repeat it, repeat it, repeat it until it starts to sink in at the unconscious mind and starts to become part of you. So any questions before we go into the meditation? All right, well, I, I guess we can keep recording while we, we go into the meditation. See how it goes, I'm going to cut it out. Um, take a minute to grab a stool or a cushion. through the meditation. So we'll put it all together starting from the beginning. Just taking a moment to feel into your body. Check all seven points of the sitting posture are correct. And then take a few deep breaths. Breathing in the stillness and beauty of this place. Coming into the present moment. Being aware of the five senses. And in tuning into the body and the breath this way, visualize in your own way or sense however you perceive the energy body to be. So that you can be more sensitive to any changes that happen as we do this practice. Take a moment to establish the energy body, perhaps perceiving the energy as extending out past the skin around you as if you can energetically feel the air around you and under you, you know, down into the earth as well. choose to start the med meditation by wishing happiness for yourself, for the benefactor, for friends,
wants to go and regenerate that sense by thinking of a particular situation where you felt loved and you loved back. And you loved and felt loved back. say the words, may you be safe and protected. May you be filled with happiness. May you be peaceful and may you live a life of ease and kindness. creative and you know, visualize giving metta in whatever you feel is most powerful by sending words of kindness, offering light and energy, reaching out to touch them gently, supporting them feel their gratitude and their kindness back to you
Wishing all of us happiness, safety, peacefulness, kindness, joy, and whatever else you wish. Expanding that bubble out further to include all people in Strathalbyn and around about the farmers, the shopkeepers, the shop owners, the householders. Expanding the bubble out to include you know, all of South Australia, perhaps, and the cities and the towns around the whole world. People living in houses all around the world, those who are sick, lonely suffering from physical and mental illnesses, people who are feeling unsafe and unprotected, people who have chaos in their life, people in pain, hungry, thirsty, people who are living in the cold without heating, expand that bubble out and wish everyone happiness, even those people that look happy on the surface that maybe are suffering from their own stresses internally.
imagine, if you like, that our metis strikes a spark in their heart so that they then, with their cup full, they can offer metta and loving kindness to those around them. And that we're bathed in metta coming from others, filling us with that luminous energy 